right off the bat, I'm not driving myself nuts with this tonight. This is the second take, and it's going to be the last take. I just finished five, maybe, or six shorts I just read and put up consecutively. And stopped. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a cigarette break and then get to it. Stopped. Uh, looking at the time. No, no cigarette break. Or, you know, fuck. So I went and I checked with the boss. Maybe I'm the boss. And I said, fuck it. Why don't you have the cigarettes while you start the vlog? It's not like you've never done it before, right? Not like it, it fucking matters, you know, or anything, but. Uh, so that's what I chose to do. All right, let's 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 recount the weekend. Let's let's it's time for the weekend wrap up. Oh wait, I don't even think I said my uh, my stamp of the date of, of each journal entry, which this is my digital journal. Okay. No different really, in my opinion, than a regular journal, a real journal that you write and date and put in and do it like that, which is, uh, everyone should do it, you know. Uh, uh, Tony, Ro what, Tony Robbins said, because uh, he does it too, he said, your life's worth living, right? You might as well record it and remember it, you know. So I've been keeping journals since 1993. I was 22. I still write in a journal now, and I got a toolbox with all my journals from then. So, but you know what, as much as, you know, I love that stuff. Well, I think love's a heavy word. I don't love that stuff, writing and stuff. Well, I, sometimes I do, yeah, actually. I, I like, I really do, I've always liked writing different, on many different forms and stuff. So it's a great way of expressing yourself where you can express yourself in any way you want, in any structure you want, in any form you want, and it's, just as important, you know, to you and stuff as, you know, like shit on the bookshelves and the famous fucking writers and stuff, you know? Just as important. A lot of people go, oh, why should I write? I'm not famous. It's fucking, you know? Whatever. I, I'm, I'm trying to get myself out of this, uh, hmm, I'm here to teach the world. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind it, but it, be thankless, you know. Uh, it's people don't want help with, with certain things, you know. People, adults don't want to know they're doing something wrong, you know, they're living wrong one way or another, whether they admit it to themselves or someone else. Hell no, but they're fucking excellent, advanced pros at leveling that shit at everyone else, right? Talking that bullshit. When you see people do that at work and stuff like that, just don't do it. Walk away, you know. Fuck them and that fucking gossip bullshit. You got nothing to do, do some push ups. Or you're waiting for your fucking order or something. You know? Anyway, that's not what I'm uh, you know, really talking about here, what I wanted to uh, in, in, this, in this entry here. It's the end of the weekend. Did I, did I say the fucking date yet? I don't know. May 19th, 2024, Sunday. Time of day is. 2305 hours now. There. I've either said it three times in this video or that was the first time. I don't know. After I do a handful of these, it, it, it really gets jumbled sometimes. Uh, some of the numbers and, and stuff like that. So what happened on uh, Friday? Friday, me and a little woman, we went to uh, this play thing and where they, uh, it was really cool. There was like eight or nine acts and there's four and then five, yeah. And each one was like a little different mini short or something, but real life people performance. The best thing that it there is. I remember when we walked in to go uh, set up the seat, and I came in and it was like all the chairs and stuff in the, in the big place. And then the stage was there. It was a nice stage too. Fuck. And it was black and it was blue. Bright, bright uh, neon and stuff, blue. It was a really nice stage, kind of old looking, but kind of that fancy, 
shit, you know, and up the levels, everything, I swear to God, as soon as I opened the door and took two steps in it, everything in me wanted to go up on that stage and start reading my little things or talking or doing something. I don't know, I, it's, I just, I really wanted to. Well, you know, last time I did anything like that was at an open mic. The last time I did read at an open mic was, or talked, was pre-COVID. So maybe that's why I'm, I'm earning for that because like, this is great. This has been such a lifesaver, this YouTube channels and giving me um, avenues to do my stuff and my martial arts stuff separately. And, and things like that and it's been a great outlet you know for just creative endeavors or also for a poor man's therapy and psycho you know venting and dumping and, and stuff like that instead of yelling at the walls and shit like that and you get nothing back with craziness you get it out you get it out I get it out I process this I get it out finish with the weekend wrap up so we did that you know that was really cool and had really cool topics too they were like uh, like how you I don't know how to say it they were like uh, not mainstream stuff like heavy heavy topics uh, and, which was also pretty awesome now I uh, well last video I made was uh, what was it Friday night at no it's Thursday night no, it was Friday morning at 0300 hours. I remember that because I had an all-nighter hit me, came up and hit me. So what was it? What night? Thursday night, I didn't sleep. So uh, I slept Wednesday night, a few hours, got up, did all Thursday. Something happened. Caused me to not sleep, but not much causes me to not sleep, you know. I, but And I knew it ahead of time. I said, I'm not even going to fucking fight it tonight. I'm not going to try to lay down, go to sleep, and go to get all max. And, oh, and think you can't do nothing. I'm just staying dressed and I'm doing shit all night for the rest of the night. And, and it worked out great. Like I said, on the thing, got up. I didn't get up. I stayed up. I got myself to the gym finally uh, back after three months since I lost my license for six months, seven months. Four, I had three more to go. But the weather's nice enough. I can walk every day now to the gym. So I did, did all this shit. But anyway, Oh, oh and, I, and I also, in addition to my regular stuff on Friday, I also went and got on my bike and uh, rode it to my mother's house, which is about 10 to 12, 15 miles each way. It's a lot of bike riding, you know, and especially on no sleep. After I went back to the gym, and I did it. I knew I was going to hurt Saturday. I, I knew it. Oh, I was so sore. Every fucking muscle, neck, shoulders, chest, stomach, ass, calves, quads, you know, knuckles, elbows, like everything. Because it's mountain bikes. And I don't have an electric bike or any of that easy stuff. So I'm, I'm using power, meat power. And I really pushed it too much. And then uh, it was a little rough Saturday night because I get a little you know, out there, and we're talking two days out of sleep and stuff, and I'm, you know, doing things and forgetting I just did that, and walk over there and forgot why, you know, like all this stuff. It's uh, kind of funny sometimes, a little neat sleep deprivation, but I'm not advocating it, you know, don't, I'm just saying, I have found it, since I've been dealing with sleep deprivation since, uh, I don't know, at least uh, 20, 21 years old, maybe. And 52 now, so it's a lot. So I'm a, I'm a pro at it, you might say. I'm a master at it. I'm a, I'm a, a highly revered scholar in it. <laughs> in insomnia and the nausea of it all and getting through the next day and stuff. But I'm happy to say I'm back on sleeping good patterns because I, me and my girlfriend, you know, we care for me to sleep and I got sleep. You know, Friday, it's at a return normal. So now we're saying we're, I'm really going to be much more on point from now on about God dang sleep problem with me. You know, and how I just 
All right, the bottom line, plain truth is I, I don't like it going to sleep. It's boring. It's, you know, uh, it's, I, I hate it, you know. It's, uh, it's like eating and stuff, stopping to cook all that shit. It's a pain in the ass, man. Every now and then, yeah, I like sleep. I look forward to it. It's good, but it's like, fuck, man. It's a pain in the ass sometimes. So, but I got to grow up from that, I know. I got to grow up because the fact is, and I know it, I can't bull my, bullshit myself any longer. I know it that however good I think or feel I may be doing now with things and all the stuff I'm doing and personally and everything, is all fine and good. But I also know for a fact that that would be increased and my output would be more and I'd get more results and everything would be more and better and improved if I solve the sleep equation. Or at the very minimum, stay at it trying. If I don't solve it, at least get better. You know, get more sleep every week instead of uh, up and down, up and down, psycho Jekyll and Hyde guy, you know. It, it, it's, I sabotage myself like that, you know. I Even when I think I'm not, I am because I could be doing something better smarter, more useful. But you know, but also in defense of myself sometimes, sometimes you get checkmated into a corner in life or, or for a day or something by somebody or somebody's or a combination of things or something or your own fucking stupidity and mistakes or procrastination or weakness or fear or whatever. And you get checkmated into a situation where you just fucking cannot do that thing. Even if you wanted to, you know, you just can't for any reasons, you know, and people don't understand that. People don't give a shit or care. I realized that a long time ago. So why waste more time and energy trying to convince them or trying to get their approval or whatever? That's a lot of wasted energy for nothing. Their approval. And with that, I'm going to You know, do as I say to myself. You know, instead of uh, do as I say, not as I do, bullshit. You know. So that's what I'm going to do. You know, I have a lot of other things I wanted to say and get out there on this today. A lot of them too are about uh, upcoming things with my Bowie knife, the Bowie knife training. I, I, I'm really slowly piecing together like a a one day training workshop somewhere outside and I find a place where I can do it and you know just have one feed people come maybe like three four hours of uh, you know Bowie American Bowie knife fighting in intro 101 back cut chop so that's it I'm shutting up that's it good Sunday night hope you have a good Sunday night too oh my big advice the other I I said it before about Sunday night says Monday sets the tone for the week, right? We all know this. This is so true. So take that one step further and better to help. What sets the tone for Monday? Sunday. Sunday night. Getting that sleep, doing all the shit you gotta do, prepping. Enough with the planning and partying for the weekend. You know, get squared up and do the right fucking thing Sunday night. To, to mitigate, you know, Monday's awfulness that it has, you know, it's truly one of the most worst days of the week, I'd say. Um, so, all the more reason to prepare for it, strategize, scheme, you know, do whatever give, to give yourself, you know, a good honest edge, you know. You know, instead just something that's you and you're not fucking anyone else over. You're not stepping on anyone to, to, for your edge to work or anything. It's, it's good, solid, real, true advancement. Not the stick someone in the, knife with a, in the back with a fucking knife and take their spot. That's not advancement, you know, in any fucking stretch of the means. That's, that's the ultimate weakness. So, that to stop and um, say again first of all thank you for watching and thank you so much for uh, 
your you know time attention to uh, watching it and gives makes the thing go back and forth so thank you uh, and uh, again thank all the new subscribers thank um, you know watch time the uh, views everything uh, I appreciate it very much thank you and uh, I just can't wait till I get enough subscribers so then I can get a store too and sell some cool shit really awesome shit as well as my journals and stuff. We've taken auctions for the, my first original hand, uh, exact piece, 1993 journal. Uh, first bidding at the auction, I'm thinking of going, uh, I don't know, 500,000, five million maybe. Joking. And last thing I'm throwing out there is this week, I'm making a solid number one, tier one goal to do uh, a vlog. Everything, everything else doesn't matter. I do that, I do or not. But this will take priority. I'm going to nail this at least two segments a day, Monday to Friday. Maybe I'll give myself the weekend off. 